somehow. Well, hey, what are you guys doing here? Like, welcome to the pond. Have you been here before? I guess not. Let's just go on in here and see what's going on. Let me show you. Go back to games. Nice and shady, huh? This is what it's all about. Habitat for rich and rich with rich diversity. We got the Gila Top Minnow, we got the Long Fin Days, and we have the Leopard Frog. These are why we're here. This made this all possible from a grant from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service called the Partners Program. And the whole community came together for this. Students helped dig this out. Um, I had uh, people from the Vail community, people from Tucson community, and the people from the U.S. government and the state. It was a full-on effort as well as um, people from the district office and um, the people here. Everything in here was repurposed from somewhere else. And uh, that was like a, a huge deal. I was actually going over to a, a friend of mine's and her neighbor was getting rid of some stuff. And then he go, I go, I'm gonna build this pond. You want to donate some, some stuff? And he donated all the stuff for the fence, all this, this, um, Shall we right here? And then here we are. We're at the pond. And if you look right here, the water's super clean. And you know, and a lot of people say, oh that's not clean. There's stuff in there, but light it's kind of messy, but life is messy sometimes. Life is always messy, and it's like it's not ever perfect. It's like every day, oh I like want this like well, what perfect. This is not perfect. Right here we have, there's a pump over here. That pump pumps 12, um, 1,200 gallons uh, an, like an hour over here to this waterfall. And the waterfall, there's rocks in the waterfall and that purifies the water, goes through the sand and plants to clean out the water. And then it gets further clean, comes back here, kind of like how your heart like pumps it, you pumps Oxygen, and it gathers up oxygen and um, cleans water and it's like kind of like your kidneys, your heart, all of this stuff. This is what nature does, clean water. Water is one of the most important things here in the desert and clean water, I don't get any started on. So, but right here, this that's blooming right here, that's watercress. That is not from here, but it is actually from Cienega Creek. That is one of those plants that have been naturalized and grows here and doesn't, not, not super invasive. This right here, which is just about to bloom, is Yerba Monza, which is the coolest plant ever. It can be used for medicinal purposes and you can make soap out of it. This plant right here is one of my favorite plants and this is a giant house brella. And in ancient times, people made baskets out of this, clothing, and everything like that. So, and then same with the bear grass. And if you know, like the hototomes, like they, they use these materials, like this was life. This, these are native plants. Not everything in here is native because it's just, that's just the way of the world. <laughs> 